Hello, minions, and welcome to another Wheezy's Weekly Wrap-Up. Today, we're going to go over what you missed on the channel, and we're also going to talk about what's coming soon in the world of Wheezy Plays PC Games. It's amazing. All right, minions, you know the drill. First, let's just jump right into what went on the channel this week. Uh, so since the last wrap up, uh, the first video I posted was actually a game of Cold War Zombies Outbreak with my son, Sebastian. Um, so we played, uh, I think we did two uh, worlds of Outbreak and then Exfield on the second world. And um, I'm excited to see Seb getting into more shooters and zombies is like such a great way. It's a cooperative like against like PVE way to get people who aren't super comfortable with competitive online multiplayer shooters to get some time on the sticks. So uh, it was a good time and uh, here's a clip from that if you missed it. They did the dragon rock and they both got down and failed. What? What guy died? died? Oh my god. Oh wait, radio. I hear it. Dad. This is why I don't do online. Is that near you or near me? Oh, you're near me. Yeah. All right, Dad. I think it's good time. All right, time calling in an napalm. Calling it in. Oh! <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> that was a lot of explosions. So definitely go check that out. It was a good time. Uh, I'm hoping to do. I'm planning to do more videos with Seb in the future, just who knows what random stuff. Um, right now we're actually playing uh, It Takes Two, which is kind of an incredible co-op, couch co-op multiplayer game. Um, but anyway, moving on back to the channel. Uh, the next video I posted was how to unlock the Cold War, the new Cold War sniper rifle, the ZRG 20mm, and also the like last season's Street Sweeper shotgun, because I never bothered to unlock it. Um, so I did them at the same time because you could kind of double dip if you haven't done that. So it's a great video that tells you how to unlock the ZRG, and if you haven't already, how to do the Street Sweeper at the same time. So here's a clip from that. Uh, another option, back on the garage side here where we're shooting towards the garage. I believe I murdered the teammate there. There's a long shot in the garage, but then I figured, hey, you know, if it worked once on that side, <laughs> try through this fence, and sure enough, long shot through the fence on that side. Uh, towards the people coming from their spawn along there towards the middle objective. So uh, there is stuff that on domination that does potentially block this line of sight. So keep that in mind. But uh, again, when you're going for these penetration shots, it can be it can be a nice little bonus to just spam some shots through a wall and uh, and get lucky, especially like I said with with high traffic and with people trying to do these unlocks. Um, so there's another one, long shot through there. So. Yeah, if you want to check out that video and unlock those two weapons in Cold War, it's a bit of a grind, but this is the best way to do it. Minimize the time playing Cold War. I don't know, I, the completionist in me just has to do these things. Um, so the next video I posted was a uh, gameplay from the uh, free-to-play open beta of the game Enlisted, which is like a World War II pseudo-realistic uh, squad-based shooter. It's free on, it's on PC, it's on uh, PS4. Uh, Series X, um, so it's it's available for free on those platforms. wasn't wasn't too bad. It was kind of fun to play. Um, still some quirks with it. Uh, I I posted it as is this the Battlefield Killer? A little clickbaity. It's not. It's not the Battlefield Killer. Um, but here's a clip from that video, uh, and whether or not you might think it's worth checking out. Let's see what we can see here. I saw you. Nice. Murder sauce. Hear shots from over here. Why did that not want to drag my scope at all? It was just like, nope. Alright, time to move. Oh shit, not time to move. Okay, so at this range, the auto-aim does not quite snap directly on. I hear footsteps, though. Not sure where from. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. He walked right up on me. All right. All right. So, yeah, go take a look at that video if you want to watch the rest of it. And uh, go check out Enlisted. I mean, if you are looking for a new shooter right now or just something to kind of kill a little bit of time, not too bad. Um, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. I did post later than that video. Matter of fact, as I'm recording this, it's going to go up later today. Um, it's a video that shows you how to fix the controls on console because the default control setup for enlisted on console is fucking awful. It's floaty and sluggish, but you can fix it. And so I did a really quick video that shows you how to do that. So here's a quick clip from that. So if I try to aim here, it's like very imprecise and it feels just absolutely terrible. If you're on PC, obviously this won't really be an issue. Um, but like if I wanna, let's see, if I wanna, Oh God, I'm gonna go for bullseyes here. All right, and oh, oh God, it just—I feel like I feel like I'm—I feel like I'm pushing it back and forth. So now, in this way, it actually feels like I can just more accurately kind of like push the gun on target. It just feels a lot less floaty this way. So. If you're having trouble with your controls on console, consoles feeling like they're fucking floaty and useless, hopefully this will help you. Yeah, so go check that. It's a super short one. If you guys want to play Enlisted on console, please go look at that because the controls by default are fucking terrible. Um, the last video that I posted this past week um, is a some gameplay from Zombie Army 4. Now, it's a game that is on Game Pass right now. It also, I believe, is one of the PlayStation Plus free games this month. Um, and it's just like... It's, I mean, it's like Sniper Elite, but with zombies. So you're just... It's a zombie game. I figured it's free. I might as well play it. Might as well record it. So I did some commentary, posted a video. It was kind of fun. Here's a clip. Excuse, please. Excuse. My accuracy is not fantastic. Oh, grenade! Yes! Loading! I should probably use a, a real gun. Nope, I'm good. Pistol, please. Oh, hi. Hoodie! Crushy, crushy. Derp. Herp the derp. Crush. Crush. I'll stomp you guys into mush. Hey! No shooting. Oh, loading. Oh, those are great shots. Jesus, I'm amazing. Hey, zombie. Excuse me. Would you stop it? Oh, yeah. Breaking the seal. It means I'm gonna have to pee all night. Yeah, go check that out. See some more zombie face shooting fun. Uh, I don't know if I'll revisit that game, but uh, if you guys, you guys want to see more of it or want to go try it out yourself, you got Game Pass. Speaking of which... I got a video coming out on Monday that's gonna show you how to save money on Game Pass Ultimate. I talked about it during my PlayStation Plus video, so that's coming soon, that's coming on Monday. I've already got it uploaded and scheduled. It's gonna, it's gonna come out bright and early Monday morning. Um, so look forward to that if you guys want Game Pass Ultimate and you wanna save a few bucks on it. It's not like a 50 plus percent discount like PlayStation Plus, uh, but Game Pass is already a steal. It's worth full price, but I'm gonna save you some money. So stick around for that. Uh, so I wanted to talk about going forward and PC stuff. I spent the last, well, mostly just kind of yesterday. I spent the first significant amount of time I've spent yesterday in a while playing PC uh, games, shooters on PC. And the first thing that I realized is that my main issue is familiarity with the controls. I've been holding a controller like my whole damn life. Obviously I've been using a mouse and keyboard, pretty much my whole life too, but not for shooter games. So that muscle memory has to be learned. So like the WASD, I got down pat, right? But then it's like, like in Battlefield 4, it's like Z is prone, X is crouch, F is melee, G is grenade, switch and wet. Like that's like, I'm kind of feel like a hunt and peck typer where I'm like, I need a grenade. There. <laughs> where's the, where's the, where's the button for it? I'm looking up key maps and trying to figure all that stuff out. Um, but I'm picking it up fast and I'm enjoying it. And one of the cool things about PC is it's taking these old games and it's running them at decent settings. When I just turned on Battlefield 4, which is also part of Game Pass, so talking about my Game Pass Ultimate, I was thinking about buying Battlefield 4, you know, to play it again. It's on Game Pass, 
Ultimate because it's on EA Play. So I got Game Pass Ultimate, it's on EA Play. So I was playing some Battlefield 4 on PC as part of that. What a steal. Um, anyway, so the first thing that it put me on was like default 4K 60 hertz settings with my video card, which is, you know, it's not the best video card in the world, but it's decent. It, that's what it started at. I ended up switching it to 1440p just because of how uh, it was doing with recording it and smoothness. Plus I upload at 1440, um, which I'll do another video about in the future. Because most of my games I only record at 1080, but I upload at 1440 for the extra bit rate, the better codec. We'll address that in a soon in a coming soon video, um, but yeah. So I got to play some Battlefield 4 on PC and it upgrade. Like the graphics are great. I tried not too long ago when I was going through old Battlefield games to capture video form. Like I put my Battlefield 3 game on Xbox 360 and then Battlefield 3 on PC at 4K. Um, one of the games that I tried to go back to was Bad Company 2, and on console it's just completely dead. Like there's no servers, you can't connect to anything. On PC, however. Which again, it was in EA Play. So with the EA part of Game Pass Ultimate, I was able to get Bad Company 2. I had to go through some steps to install Punk Buster on my machine, which felt like a blast from the past. But after I did that, I was able to actually play some Bad Company 2 online. And the graphics on the PC, like I bumped it up to 1440p and the resolutions are like, it's it's crazy like so i'm gonna be making some videos of these pc games that these shooters that i've been playing you'll be coming along with me like learning clumsy in my way through uh, mouse and keyboard learning but also uh just some cool gameplay of some of some pc games now one of the things that's disappointing about the fact that we're starting to get used to cross play with like the new call of duty and i sure hope the next battlefield is cross play and the reason i say that is I spent tons of time in Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 and Bad Company 2 playing those games and unlocking, like, everything. And when I go over and play them on PC, none of that shit is unlocked. So I'm back to, like, level 1, no equipment. I'm playing against people that have been playing these games for literally 10 years. And I have, like, the starter gun. <laughs> so um, so it's an interesting thing. It's, it's But it's been fun. It's been good. Um, so... The games I've been playing, so I, you know, I download from EA Play, Battlefield 5, Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3, Bad Company 2. Um, who knows how far back I'll go. Maybe I can get, 19, maybe I can find some servers for 1943 or some servers for Battlefield 2. Um, but it's kind of scratching that, trying to scratch some more of that Battlefield itch, get some more capture for Wheezy's War College, uh, while also waiting for the announcement and reveal for Battlefield 6. So... Yeah, uh, I'm actually, I feel like I've been rambling a little bit, but I've moved through this pretty quickly. I'm going to go ahead and stop it there. If you guys have anything on PC that you think I just need to play, I don't care if it's a shooter or not, just now that I've now that I've got a PC, if there's something worth checking out. Um, well, I say now that i got a PC. Now that I'm starting to get into gaming since I've got my, since I've got my fancy RGB <laughs> and uh, an actual decent uh, polling rate and DPI adjustable mouse, so... Um, yeah, leave some feedback on anything you've seen here. Go see the videos, leave comments on those videos. Um, yeah, I always want to hear from you guys. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, baby.